Welcome to the weather briefing for the week of December 23rd, 2014. This briefing is brought to you by the National Weather Service in Riverton. Well, taking a quick look at the week ahead, Christmas Eve, a pretty good travel day across Wyoming before snow hits most of the state for Christmas Day. Should be a white one. Friday and Saturday, we'll see improving conditions. And then Sunday and Monday, it looks as though it will be turning colder with a chance of perhaps more snow Sunday night heading into Monday. If you do plan to travel during the holiday period, please visit wyoroad.info. You can sign up there for 511 Notify and receive text messages or email alerts. And also, if you plan to travel, please take along an emergency supply kit for your vehicle. And if you do become stranded, stay with your car. Well, taking a more detailed look at the forecast, Christmas Eve, again, as we mentioned, it looks like a good travel day. Uh, we have this uh, high pressure sitting up, setting up off the uh, southwest United States coast. Here comes our next low pressure system, but out ahead of it, some dry westerly flow. So overall, a good day. We should see some increasing clouds late in the afternoon, especially across the western part of the state. But otherwise, it should be pretty nice until we get into Christmas Eve night when uh, we'll start to see the snow break out across the western part of the state and by sunrise Christmas morning it looks like uh, across the northern Bighorn Basin perhaps into Johnson County we'll already start to see snow falling. So for Christmas that low pressure system will dive all the way from the Pacific Northwest down into Utah and western Colorado. That location should set up a favorable location for snowfall across all of the state, especially across the central and southern portions of Wyoming. Uh, widespread three to six inch snowfall amounts. It looks like the heaviest snow will fall during the daylight hours on Christmas. And then as we head into Christmas night, as this low pressure system starts to pull away from uh, Wyoming, we'll start to see decreasing snowfall from northwest to southeast. This image here with these purple and pink colors, that's where the expected precipitation is. And you can see a good chunk of that precipitation falling across Wyoming and nearby portions of Utah and Colorado. As we head into Friday and Saturday, that uh, low pressure system pulls out, but we still re maintain a north to northwest flow aloft that'll bring colder air in. It looks like the coldest air will remain over uh, the northern plains where we see these, this pink and some of these gray and white colors. Still plenty cold across the state, below normal temperatures for Friday and Saturday, although it does look as though uh, as the snow decreases Friday, Saturday looks to be a dry, perhaps the best travel day of the next several days. Then as we head into Sunday and Monday, we keep that northwest flow aloft. It should be active. We could see some snow showers off and on across the northwest part of the state. Also the Bighorn Mountains, that's a favorable pattern for the Bighorns to get snowfall, especially on the west side, if we have enough moisture available. The warmest air along the west coast, the coldest air over the northern plains, so the active jet stream right across Wyoming. The question is, will this dip down a little bit farther and allow this much colder air to move into the state? Uh, the model's kind of going back and forth on that. Stay tuned. Uh, it could be much below normal temperatures to start next week if that colder Arctic air is able to move into Wyoming. Uh, nonetheless, it does look like we will be below normal to start the week, work week. The 8 to 14 day outlook, as you can see, most of the United States for the first week of the new year staying below normal temperatures. That northwest flow broadly uh, encompassing most of the United States. Um, over time, it looks like that'll dry out because we'll, we'll be taking that air from um, these continental regions of Canada. So overall, a below normal snowfall pattern as we head through uh, next week. But again, much colder or at least colder temperatures to begin the new year. Stay informed if you're traveling this holiday season. You can visit us at weather.gov slash Riverton. We have a webcams link where you can view the, the travel webcams route by route. You can also click on the YDOT road conditions. You can call 511 or wyroad.info for your information. And if you have a smartphone, visit mobile.weather.gov where you can get uh, the latest forecast right there on your phone. We wish you a very happy holiday season. You can call us anytime, especially with all the travel concerns of the next week or so. Weather.gov slash Riverton. You can visit us online. And we wish you all again a very happy holiday season.